what is meant by physical architecture it has been divided into two segments you can see here one is base directory one is data directory base directory is belongs to binaries mysql server binaries or resided in base directory data directory what we have your data files we have seen right now our uh, table spaces our uh, log file our system database and normal user related databases and all those things will be resided in your data directory how you can able to know about where the base directory is located and where the data directory is located that is important see here in base directory you can see your executable files whatever you have executable files that you can see that then what are the requirement you have library files and log files all those things are base directory related stuff okay that we need to know where it is residing and data directory as well okay let me open input i will show you yes it's connected we can change the settings as well if you want to change something like that that is also you can see i will show you if you want to increase go to set change the settings appearance you can increase it well or bold you can keep it yes fine and now clear <coughs> connect to the mysql because you don't know anything password don't know anything just we need to know identify where the base directory is located and where the data directory is located first thing base directory is related to binary information data directory our user related information as well system database system table spaces and system related information i can say that our application related if you create a database that will be residing in your data directory but we know we need to know the locations normally we know where lib it will be available but as per if you don't know new instance we created and they have given username and password you need to identify means very easy so we already discussed about variables so variables like data dir see this is for data deleted and one more is base directory nothing is there just to give base base directory is related to where it is residing slash user okay these things fine and i'll go with base directory where it is there slash usr here you can see bin here mysql star okay see here mysql related executable files you can see that we'll see everything we have been discussing everything we'll discuss later okay mysql mysql admin admin for dbs bin log and secure installation what is the use of that upgrade mysql upgrade everything you can see that means all executable files you can see in your user path this is first step log files also there log files also you can see that obviously cd where log okay log is right all log files information in this you can see mysql folder will be available see present working directory logs related mysql server 
everything all related information see error log file is very important file you can see the error what is happening what is happening zero is there now zero if you start running or whatever maybe automatically it will zip it and it will keep it there now if you start or restart or something it will start generating your error log file also okay i will restart this server right now service isql stop it now you can see here right away see it is occupied some space right again if you start around 4264 the value is there now if you again if you see it has been increasing right same thing what is the use of error log file anything your server restart or your data file is missing configuration settings everything it will be recorded in your error log file if you change something happened deleted some data file system data file okay that will be recording your something anything system related if you do some uh, if something happened to the server it will be recorded in your error log file means we have seen base directory location and log directory location you can see here base directory okay whatever lo uh, log files program files base directory and log files also same okay this is for base base directory means your binary related information then one more is your data directory data directory you have to see that is different where we have seen slash where lib isql cd where lib mysql see this the location yesterday we have seen we have seen you know, creating table spaces and data log file log files are there you if you create a database see this i created databases two days before right everything it will be recorded in this one okay this two is very important one is base directory location one more is like a data directory location okay now you can see in this document i can see log files we have seen system everything log buffer is the log c uh, ib buffer pool i will tell you that what is the use of these things i will tell you and if you go into the database suppose i will switch to set the database you can see format file ibd file that is the here i am saying like this okay per database every database that if you create a table these files will be created ibd data file and format file will be created okay in oracle and sql server is very very different right here is different now i will show you live something like mysql iphone root iphone p use okay uh, create a table something any table or employee id integer name character 20 city insert into mp values any record whatever you want to do chennai one more guys
Bangalore. Like this, some records you have been inserting. Fine. But you know that what are the tables you have? Show tables. You can see here nothing. Just like logically, you can see that we created a table called EMP. Okay. Now <clears throat> go to background. EMP EL something like that we created, right? See, one is dot frm file, one is data file. What is the use of this? First fun, it will store the structure of the file. Structure normal. If you have a table, you can create a structure that will be residing in your dot format file okay and one more is ibd data file ibd data file it stands for your data if you insert the data whatever data it will keep on filling 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 in that data file why because of uh, why it is created like this it is by default in odb engine that is the reason it has been created like that now i'll show you some more small one more table how to create it <coughs> use create create mm, table Nine integer name character something engine equal to myism uh, syntax error no worries created now I created with myism engine you can see <clears throat> I didn't insert some values also. I didn't insert any records also. You can see the comparison about that. I will tell you that we have multiple engines are there that we'll be discussing later classes. See here. One is format file, structured file for common, table created, right? Structured. One is data file. See, zero is there. We didn't insert anything. We didn't insert any records. See, just we created a table here. That's it. That is the reason. Zero values. Then one more file is index file zero. Means some meta information it has been recorded. Means you can compare the two engines here. Format and InnoDB. This one is myism. Myism is differentiated with index file and data file. But here it's not there. Both are same in this location in B. It will be deciding there. Okay. Later we'll discuss about engines. <clears throat> Just I'm saying that every engine having its own specialty. Later classes we'll be discussing. Just I will insert the record and I will show you that. Then you will come to know. Use what is the table we created emp9 right insert into emp9 name any name Okay. See this. Now I already we have seen that we have some records into EMP nine. Okay, three records are there. Exit and open that see here. Your data file information is keep on increasing it will increase keep on increasing increasing like that okay 